Gaffer tape worked a dream, Louise. <laughs> I know. It, wasn't it marvellous? <laughs> Lee, thanks so much. See you later. Thank you. 8.41 is the time now. It's a mystery that's puzzled scientists for generations. Now, one of nature's most incredible journeys is finally being mapped out. Talking about eels, this is fascinating, actually, because every year they leave UK rivers and they travel across the Atlantic Ocean to breed for just a single time, then they die. So the exact final destination never been clear until now, as our environment correspondent Helen Briggs reports. It's a tough life being an eel. Arriving on the coast, having drifted in the sea for months, tiny baby eels have to make their way upstream through fast flowing water and past numerous obstacles. They go up a vertical like this. Scientists have been monitoring eels in this Essex River for 20 years, recording steep declines. Compared to the historic numbers, there's been a 95% decline in young eels coming into fresh water from the ocean. After maturing into adults growing up to a metre long, European eels swim all the way back across the ocean to reproduce and die. Yeah, they've travelled thousands of kilometres to get here. It's taken up to two years. They'll spend, yeah, several years in the fresh water and then the adults have this huge journey thousands of kilometres back. It's long been thought they end up in the Sargasso Sea, but until now the facts have been hard to prove. There's still many more mysteries surrounding these eels. Yeah, for hundreds of years people have been trying to understand eels, that they are very mysterious, they're incredible creatures. We are gradually learning more and more and part of the monitoring that we're doing is, is helping to build up a picture of, of what's going on and the eel populations. The researchers picked up the trail in the Azores Islands in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, attaching satellite tags to eels on the final leg of their journey. That's the big one. And they say they now have the first direct evidence of adult European eels reaching this spawning ground. We knew they could get as far as the Azores, but that final leg was just undiscovered. So we thought if we could tag eels in the Azores, then we might fill that gap. And uh, we have managed this, we can confirm, we have filled in that final leg of the journey to the Sargasso Sea. For young eels arriving from the sea, there's still time to mature and grow. Predators, pollution, poaching and climate change are just some of the hazards they face. So shall we release them Just now? Just put them back in. And as these eels set off on the next step of their odyssey, there's hope the knowledge gained will help in conservation. Helen Briggs, BBC News, Essex. Mystery solved. We're wiser for it. Indeed. Uh, huge day for rugby.